Hello friends, welcome to Technique. This is Normal here and in this video, we'll show you the Color OS 13 version uh, on the Oppo Reno 8 Pro. So the Color OS 13 is based on Android 13. This is the latest version and uh, we have uh, the Reno 8 Pro running on uh, this build. This is the beta version. It's not the final build. Now the open uh, beta version for the Reno 8 Pro has been launched in India and uh, even uh, globally it is available. So we'll be showing you what are the new features uh, of the Color OS uh, 13, uh, which is on top of android 13 so before getting into the video if this is your first time on this channel do hit that subscribe button and also hit the bell icon to get notified of all the videos we publish so let's begin so first let's go to the settings panel and you can see that uh, the new refreshing style uh, in the settings panel it looks pretty good and uh, you can actually see uh, the about phone here about device now the new layout uh, for the color os uh, 13 which looks uh, pretty solid and uh, you can see that the device device name reno 8 pro and uh, all the new look and feel you can see here android version 13 uh, this is the android version uh, patch is september 5th and if you select the mario silicon you can see that uh, the new mario silicon uh, features uh, are included here it will show you what all features uh, it brings to the table so that's uh, something new and you can see that the new layout looks uh, really good uh, the box type layout uh, with the color icons on the left uh, looks refreshing actually so that's the uh, main settings panel and you can see that ui wise uh, you can see here some icons have gone for a redesign photos app uh, is gone for a redesign now one of the changes with uh, the new folder icon is that if you just press and hold the icon you can see that uh, you can enlarge the folder uh, this is uh, something which you can uh, enable on your device so just clicking here you can see that the uh, folder is enabled or rather enlarged and you can have a, a bigger control over uh, your apps you can see here all the apps you can see here and if you want to shrink it uh, just uh, shrink this so that is uh, how the new uh, desktop layout looks like so shrink the folder is available now let's go to the notification toggles and you can see here this is the new toggles area uh, the Wi-Fi and uh, the mobile data now if I play music say just uh, will uh, just uh, play Spotify now if I play Spotify or any music uh, application you can say that uh, the music box is also here so the arrangement looks pretty good actually we have uh, the Wi-Fi and uh, uh, the mobile data here then uh, we have all the other options you can customize this uh, this layout definitely looks uh, better and uh, this is definitely user friendly that's what we feel about the settings panel now the home screen layout uh, you can uh, press and hold and you can see here there are plenty of options transitions icons wallpaper now if you go to the wallpaper now there is a new wallpaper this is called the blossom wallpaper now what this wallpaper does is it's kind of a plant which is growing and it actually takes the data from your uh, uh, I mean digital well-being the more you use the flower gets uh, faded out and uh, uh, if you are uh, uh, screen on time or rather the usage goes beyond 22 hours then this will turn into red color or dark brown color indicating that you have spent a lot more time than actually intended so you can set uh, the timing here screen gold uh, you can set the screen gold the maximum is like 22 hours which we feel is very very high for a smartphone usage uh, in a 24 hour period but uh, uh, something like uh, 4 or 5 hours uh, should be okay again you can set the screen time gold and it will actually uh, show this animated uh, uh, wallpaper which is really good actually it, it is a very great implementation actually so that uh, is a new wallpaper here so this works pretty well it's kind of a plant which will grow up and then it will uh, fade out uh, when you use the device for a longer period of time so that's uh, the customization for wallpapers then uh, you can see that ad additional options uh, we have uh, the gestures uh, uh, then uh, home screen uh, draw mode or if you want uh, the app I app uh, uh, I mean uh, full list uh, layout then uh, icon size then uh, rise to wake all those options are there see these are uh, similar now we have the clock style vertical and uh, horizontal is there so that is also uh, pretty good the recent stocks manager uh, display you can enable the ram option uh, you can lock or unlock apps in the recent uh, task manager so these are additional options available then uh, next uh, let's uh, see the settings panel itself so let's just go to settings and uh, here you can see that wallpaper and style now here we have the wallpapers font icons themes so if you select this uh, you have uh, plenty of themes to customize theme store is there then colors uh, you can select the colors for the wallpaper uh, pick the from the wallpaper or you can uh, set select uh, any particular uh, uh, tone here so you can see here I just uh, select this and you can see that the color changes now you can select uh, from the wallpaper as well this is how the color picking from the wallpaper 
wallpaper applies or you can go with a custom uh, colors now another option is the edge lighting which is again there on uh, a lot of oppo phones you can see here edge lighting colors are there so these are nothing new fingerprint animation is also there uh, there are some additional options there now one of the new changes is in the always on display now here we have always on display and uh, here you can see here contextual info now there are a couple of things here one is music playback you can enable this is uh, supported uh, by spotify will show you how it works then trips and food delivery so this is basically if you are ordered food from swiggy or somato in india you can actually uh, see the information here you can see a driver on the way arriving in 12 minutes Those, this kind of information you can get from the swiggy and uh, somato apps and also probably in the future this will be clubbed to the uh, uber or our apps as well we are not really sure but right now swiggy and somato is supported so uh, right now it's not showing any supported apps because it's the beta version but spotify it works so we'll just show you how it works i'm just locking the screen now you can see here aod is in action if i just double tap this you can see here uh, if I double click on this I can see all the songs I can just select the songs from here go to the next song or uh, skip uh, the next song you can see here I can just go forward 15 seconds so all this you can uh, do from the lock screen you don't have to open the app uh, so this is from the uh, always on display in fact this is not the lock screen this is always on display the device is not turned on now so that's very good implementation I would say uh, one of the better implementations on the always on display in the always on display you also get some additional options uh, that, that is this System provided always on options so here you can see here the first one is uh, how would a one degree warming do to the planet so global warming uh, impact you can see here zero degrees it's the one uh, 0.5 degree increase uh, the ice will shrink one degree increase the ice will further shrink so this is something uh, which is uh, new then uh, you get uh, next one this is um, uh, another one uh, similar to that then uh, you also get uh, a fish uh, rotating here this is how this uh, looks like so these are some of the options are in the always on display then you also get this insight so this is something which we have seen on uh, the oneplus devices so uh, insight uh, gives you details about uh, how many locks you have done uh, unlocking you have done uh, with your device so these things can be uh, seen here then uh, you get uh, unlock and other clock options as well then here you can see that uh, additional options uh, you can uh, see that the dark mode is also included uh, so you can see that the dark mode settings a couple of uh, dark mode options are there this is more or less similar to the android or other color os 12 version uh, so nothing's changed here then uh, we have the battery option so some refinement is there you can see here the the way it is arranged has been changed here so you can see here the recent apps are using the battery here uh, so those uh, are listed here and the battery usage and everything uh, looks pretty good special features we have applied of options split screen flexible windows quick return quick launch smart sidebar kid space uh, and a simple mode is there so these options uh, are uh, included here so this is how uh, the new uh, special features uh, icons looks like then about device as i showed you uh, this is uh, uh, looking good as well so overall the icons uh, feels very nice now uh, the recent uh, app key so you can see here this is the recent app key uh, you can uh, see the ram option available here so this is uh, something which we have enabled now another feature is the shelf option so what you need to do is just swipe uh, down from the home screen and you can see this shelf this is available on uh, the oneplus devices as well so you can see some widgets here the steps taken clock uh, the weather and the battery and the storage information you can add widgets here you can see here some uh, additional widgets are there you can add widgets to the shelf and uh, get a uh, quick access uh, to your uh, details another feature is a multi device multi screen connect rather you can uh, connect with other oppo devices or the pc and uh, transfer files and stuffs uh, even without uh, having internet so those things are uh, pretty new now if you look at the app drawer you can swipe from the bottom and uh, here we can see that nothing much changed here uh, even the uh, apps looks uh, more or less similar uh, now we have uh, the overlax app uh, which again looks uh, very much uh, similar to the previous uh, generation nothing much changed here and uh, then uh, here we have uh, some small minor changes to the icons but not a major one though again uh, looks uh, pretty good and uh, i pre frankly i like the experience here what you get uh, on uh, the um, notification toggles uh, this this looks definitely good and uh, much more improved than the previous version uh, the way uh, the settings panel has been arranged also looks uh, pretty neat actually uh, very well uh, done here so these are some things uh, which uh, uh, has been improved and uh, the new aod feature looks really great
8. So these are some of the new features in the Color OS uh, version 13. So, so we'll be testing this version uh, in the coming days and uh, we'll see what all new features uh, Oppo brings in and we'll also see how the performance is with the beta version and we'll also see uh, if there are any bugs or major issues. So that we'll be testing in the coming days. So overall the Color OS version 13 looks uh, pretty good uh, overall and uh, this based on Android 13 and it's coming to other devices as well so stay tuned for that. So what do you guys think about the new Color OS uh, version 13 on top of Android 13? Hope you enjoyed watching this video. Do hit that like button and also hit the subscribe button for more videos. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you in our next video. Have a great day.